On the day the Prime Minister announced his pick, Julie Payette looked like a star choice. A scientist, an astronaut. What could go wrong? From the first moment, uh, the idea uh, came up of uh, appointing uh, Ms. Payette to be our next Governor General. Uh, it was obvious to me that she would make an extraordinary Governor General. That may have been the high point. Before Payette officially started, reports emerged of an old assault charge that was later dropped and a fatal car accident where Payette struck and killed a pedestrian. The vetting process uh, is deep and extensive uh, and raised absolutely no issues uh, that would uh, prevent her from being Governor General. She will make an extraordinary Governor General. In selecting Payette, Trudeau abandoned the committee process Stephen Harper used to pick David Johnston for the job. Trudeau's government then let Payette hire her close friend to run Rideau Hall instead of a seasoned public servant. So when it emerged that Payette made life difficult for people in her orbit, it made things difficult for Trudeau. Yes, the allegations of a toxic Rideau Hall, followed by revelations Payette left the Montreal Science Center with a $200,000 severance after employees complained of mistreatment, and that she left the Canadian Olympic Committee after allegations of verbal harassment. This definitely looks poorly on uh, the Prime Minister, who, who essentially handpicked the Governor General and curtailed uh, this, uh, this appointment committee that had been put in place a few years prior by the prior government. Payette's departure comes during a minority government in what will likely be an election year, a time of political uncertainty during a period of instability in the Governor General's office. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa. Our chief political correspondent, Rosie Barton, will take us deeper into this. So, Rosie, Buckingham Palace says the Queen is following these developments, characteristically diplomatic phrasing there. Clearly, though, this will not go over very well at all. No, and, and this is, after all, the Queen's representative in Canada. There's symbolism in this role. The person is meant to sort of reflect Canadian identity. But I can't overstate how vital uh, this role is to upholding our, our parliamentary system, democracy. The GG, the Governor General, gives legislation royal assent, so it becomes law. She reads the throne speech. Uh, she approves dissolution or prorogation of parliament, which we have seen is hugely important in the past, particularly for a minority government. She is commander-in-chief of the Canadian forces. So without a credible Governor general, uh, someone Canadians can trust and rely on to make the right decisions, our political system could have found ourselves in serious jeopardy. And I suppose the other layer to this is that fundamentally we're talking about a boss and employees and a place of work. Yeah, and I think that's the part Canadians can relate to, you know, uh, people who are feeling abused in their workplace, making complaints, they're not getting listened to, so they go to Ashley Burke at the CBC to try and get some accountability. And no matter what the role, no matter who was in that role, this is about trying to find ways to protect people, uh, even when the person uh, facing these allegations is the Governor General. And that's why we are where we are today. All right, so I have no doubt at issue we'll have more on this when it convenes a little bit later. Until then, thanks, Rosie. You bet.